Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick little video on how to draw snake eyes from G.I. Joe. So we've got uh, Manga Studio, I'm sorry, Cliff Studio Paint opened and I'm going to start with a layer here <clears throat> just to get the, the basic shapes down. So start out with a basic head shape, get a chin out there and he wears that visor which goes around his ears and I'll get a little line right down the middle that visor goes over the between his eyes and over his nose and it starts it tapers too it starts at the ears it comes down you can kind of exaggerate this too but it wraps around his head and it's got some thickness to it so this will be the top little ledge and then the little slits that I don't know how he sees out of but he's a ninja so um, the back of the head, just kind of delineating where the side of the head is there. And I'm going to kind of pull this down this chin. Jawline down a little more. There's traps there. A little shadow under the... His costume is, is black, sometimes kind of bluish. Um, so... Well, you have to kind of gauge where the shadows are, but let's just get the anatomy here first. And go to the neck. Trap. Now he's got a um, little, um, what this be called? The straps for on this side. We'll give him his uh, knife. My computer will catch up. And on this side, he's going to have a couple grenades. rough him in right now and then he's carrying his uh, sword back here. We'll make the scabbard a little bit bigger than the width of the handle. The handle is going to be long enough for um, two hands. His chest. Can we just draw through it so you don't worry too much about trying to keep things I'm going to scribble a lot at this stage and get a lot of the, um, just work out the anatomy. All right. So now we're going to take this down and start doing the inks. And this is where we need to work out his, oops, I've got to do another layer though. Work out, um, just try to get this a little bit of weight. Do that by doing thicker lines underneath, lighter lines, especially with edges that are facing towards you. This sketch, I'm not looking for it to be perfect. Even if I was, I could pull perfect off anyway, so why bother? So, this is where it's going to kind of connect with this section around his ear, the side of his head, his cheek into his chin, I'll have a light coming from this side so I'm going to make this a little bit lighter in the lines. I usually go back um, after I've got the basic ink work on here. I will turn off the red layer. So we'll get the little padded part here. Just add texture to it. black and if you wanted to you could take that line tool and do it that way. 
or sketch. Either way. Pattern on here. Kind of following the roundness of the handle. The design in the middle of the middle of it. And this will fill in black in just a second. Other strap, always following the form around the trap, around the shoulder, doing the texture. That's the thing I hate about the, the tool is that it drags. I wonder if I can do it. I can do it this way. No, I can't. All right. Stop. Go away. I'll just do it by hand. That's one thing that, uh, I, hate it, that I, I don't know what the keystroke is to make it come from the middle point out instead it drags. I don't know why you, why that is not the default or why that is the default is beyond me. That's okay. All right. So from here, um, I'm going to turn off this. I'm just thickening up some lines. I'm gonna have the light coming from up here. So I'm going to have you know, this. This is gonna cast a shadow on this side. Why is that doing that? Because I didn't select follow adjacent pixel. I'm gonna leave a little bit here. Maybe. Here's the underside of his pictorial muscle. Outline and fill that in there. A little texture on his um on his mask, and then I'll probably be some. So just think about whenever the the whatever side the, um, wherever the light is hitting. And I'm gonna go back in here because this jawline got a little bit lost. I have a little bit of reflected light there. That'll work. Get a little personality out of the mask. And on the visor, I'm gonna go to the um, calligraphy tool, I think. This will this way I can just whoosh, like this. This is the shadow side, and then where it kind of fades out, and on this side I can go just a lighter, a little lighter touch. So do a little bit of feathering. some white and kind of go through and add some little interesting things here. Maybe when that little seam comes around, we'll make that light. All right. So there is a, a very quick snake eyes and usually sometimes I'll add a little bit of texture a little to make it a little more gritty. Maybe I'll fade here. This is where I start noodling <laughs> and uh, just like 
It's like, I don't like that one, so I'll... So anyway. So I use different uh, lines for textures and the padding would have a different texture than his uh, suit, which would be a different texture than the metal pieces. And the every little bit has its own, if you can make every every piece have its own texture, if you're, even if you're just indicating it a little bit like that. And there is a snake eyes. Really quick, done in Clip Studio Paint. And uh, I'll have some more videos for you tomorrow.